Why you want to rely on external system while you can have your data at home? Imagine one day you wake up without the internet connection. Or simply Google stopped working. But now I have this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alessandro Belli, a researcher from the University of Bremen. And today I would like to show you how to save up your data at your home. This video is for people that would like to invest a little bit to save data at your home. So maintained by yourself, but it requires a little maintenance. I'm already going to tell you that this investment is going to cost around six or 700 euro. This is for 10 terabytes NAS the one I have here right now. You might need less space, so five terabytes, so you can save some money. And I can show you some parts and compare this NAS to other commercial solutions. Why I built the one I have right now? I feel more comfortable, I have my data right here and I can just transfer it from every device in my network. Did I, and then, did I already say that having your data at home feels way better? Then if you compare the cost of more cloud solutions like Google Drive or Dropbox, for 10 terabyte Google Drive costs 50 euro a month and the only price I found for Dropbox was 3 terabyte for 20 euro a month. These are the parts that are inside the NAS. This is the CPU and the motherboard. This is a mini ITX, so super mini. It's as big as the hard drive as you can see. Those are two hardware's Western di Digital, 10 terabytes each. Then there is the RAM, that are two eight gigabytes slots. Then there is the case, and it's a Shark Coon Mini ATX. It's really great that there's also an additional slot for the hard drive. And there is the power supply, 500 watts. Even if this is a small case, it's quite easy to mount. The worst part is the motherboard interface. I'm not sure how it's especially called in English uh, because it goes away, it's really hard to mount and because it has some really small parts. But other than that, it's just screws and cables that needs to be fit together inside this case. I'm Using the screwdriver that I already talked about, it's a multifunction, multi-tool screwdriver that you can find it for 15 euros and I will put a link in the description. Another small annoying part are the pin on the motherboard. Those are for the, uh, the power off and on and the LED for the hard drive. Some more advanced motherboards are different solutions with easier to insert pins but this one is quite old since it's really it's mini ietx so it's super small motherboard in the end if you can mount a computer you can mount also this nest as a software i would use FreeNAS that you can install with a usb drive but this is a topic for another video i will leave a link in the description with the link to FreeNAS website as well as some other links for the um, screwdriver I used and for the Notion template where I explain every part as well as some other commercial solutions. I think in the end you would love, you would love to mount an S. If you intend to mount one, I can try to help you or, or if you already have one, if you have any other question, let me know in the comments or via email or Twitter. I can try to help you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.